You know, waffles come in many forms and colors and can be eaten for breakfast, lunch, even dessert. Or a midnight snack. Or midnight. And to celebrate this diverse dish, executive chef James Lundy from the Union Kitchen is joining us in our studio. And Courtney's about to be very, very happy because red velvet, I didn't realize, were her favorite waffles. Yeah, I didn't either. I know. Everybody <laughs> knows now. I love it. Thanks so much for being here. Absolutely. Happy National Waffle Day. Uh, we are doing it at all of our locations, all I five. know. It's a big deal. We're going to tell you more about what's going on in the restaurant. Let's get right into it because I think this is something that maybe we can make at home. I mean, do you have to have that big fancy... No, no, that's just what we use at the restaurant. Okay. But I mean, any, any home, waffle, iron. waffle iron will work. Okay, Absolutely. and you recommend not box, you recommend kind of doing your own deal, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. I mean, waffles that's how we from are. scratch. Yeah, Absolutely. let's do it. All right, mix All right. it up. So we're going to start by adding the flour. Okay. Is that three cups there? Uh, it's actually two, two cups. cups. Two cups, okay. Two cups. two cups in three bowls. Okay, then you have the sugar. And that's about, that's a three quarters three, three of a cup, right? Three quarters of a cup. Okay. And what are you adding there? Cocoa? Cocoa, Cocoa powder. powder. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, oh, and then baking soda. There we go. Which yeah. is a necessity, of course. I've done Absolutely. that without it. It's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to mix it up so that way the consistency is right because a lot of people don't do this and it's kind of important. What do you mean they, they don't mix it? They, they, well they don't enough? mix all their dry ingredients together first. Oh, they just kind of mix everything and throw it in the mixer. And then you might have a clumpy mess, right? Absolutely. You don't want to bite into like a big chunk of ba baking soda. Baking soda, cocoa powder. Yeah. And the cocoa powder is necessary and that's kind of the red velvet ingredient, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. It's the cocoa powder and the um, the red food coloring, which is the funny part. I know. I but don't what know you're why. I mean, red velvet really is just, it tastes like chocolate, right? Yeah, it's so I good, mean, though. But, but why is it different than chocolate, Courtney? Because I think it looks pretty. <laughs> yeah. You eat with your eyes first, <laughs> right? I guess. Yeah. I love red velvet. I love it. Okay, red food coloring. Vanilla. Wow. And you've got to add a lot of that red food coloring, right? Because otherwise, it, they'll just sort of be like pinkish brown. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and if, 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 if you want the red color, add know, a lot of red food coloring. Absolutely. Okay, gotcha. And then, was that butter you just added? Uh, butter, eggs. Butter, eggs, red food coloring. And it's actually buttermilk. That is really bright. Buttermilk. That's really buttermilk. bright. So why is that for the, why do you use buttermilk? It just, the consistency. It's just better. It just okay. makes it better. Okay. So you want to combine that into the dry ingredients and then you want to put that, once it's mixed, mm -hmm. into the fancy waffle maker, or we could just let you do it um, at the restaurant. But um, <laughs> so once, once that's all mixed, the magic of TV, I guess, right? Oh, he's like, yes, man. step three, just go to just the restaurant. Just go to the restaurant, outsource. That's kind of what I do. You've already decided you're not doing this. Look, yeah. this, look how quickly James is mixing this up. Well, he's and a James, professional. It's beautiful. It's like kind of a rose color. We only have about a minute left, so let's imagine that we don't have these TV constraints. You can uh, okay. maybe this. show us how to dress up your finished waffle there. All right, well, we have our buttercream icing. <gasps> What's in the icing? It's cream cheese, butter, powdered sugar, vanilla. Holy cow. Oh, yeah. It's you know? perfect for dessert. You got your strawberry sauce. Would and you then you want to put this on there, right? The fresh fruit. fruit. A little bit of fresh berries. Well, and also, for viewers, you guys can get your very own red velvet waffle today for just $3.50 with the purchase of any entree. That's going all day long. All day long. And all the locations. Mm. But we can see you at the Washington Ave location, right? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yes. Get there. It's so good, right? Oh, my gosh. I'm going in. It is in. so delicious. There's the info on your screen right there. The UnionKitchen.com locations all over our lovely yeah, city. Nice. And a reminder, just three dollars fifty cents to get your very own red velvet waffle. Courtney Savala, what do you think? Oh my gosh, they're so good. I usually get these on Mother's Day. <laughs> they're so good. Well, Mother's Day, Valentine's Day. I know. Today? I'm just gonna eat it like a piece of pizza. Is that wrong? No. Is that go okay? for it. You can eat it with your hands. All right, go James, ahead, Derek. Thank you so much. Appreciate Thanks, it. Thank you, guys. We Still ahead on Houston Life details on how you can enter to win mm -hmm. a pair of tickets to catch Agatha Christie's The Mousetrap at the Alley Theater. We'll be right back. Oh my gosh, I'm in heaven. Okay.